My name is Brianna, and I am a shoeaholic. There, I said it. I'm a shoeaholic. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Brianna, and before you leave, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of the videos that I post. If you're new here, I recently posted a Ross shop with me, so make sure to go ahead and look down below in the description box. I will post the link right there. So many of you guys love all of my fall hauls, and I feel like fall is when I actually come alive, I get creative, summer not so much, but fall is where it's at. So you read today's title of the video, you know that I'm doing a Shein fall shoe haul. Basically, I have officially ordered my staple shoes that I will be rotating this fall season. So I didn't overdo it like I usually do. As you guys seen in the past, I have overdone it a little bit, but I kept it cool and only chose four. I ordered four pairs of shoes from Shein for this fall season, and I am so excited to show you what I chose. If you're interested, Please keep watching. Just like every video, I'm gonna show you what they look like on and how I style them, along with the little image that Shein has, letting you know the price and um, my discount code. So I do have a discount code with Shein, and you can use BrieXO for 15% off your entire purchase. I do recommend you shop on Sundays because Sunday is free shipping, so you save an additional 15% off, whereas on other days, you will only save like shipping and then a little bit off of your order so don't forget to shop on sundays so the first pair of shoes i got are some booties they come in a package just like this um not typically in a shoe box which is kind of weird but i'm so excited so this has to be like a Steve Madden dupe or something. Look how chunky this heel is. It does feel a little hollow, but it's so nice. Like the suede, such a nice material. Um, this part is not exactly wood, but they are so nice. Like they do smell a little like manufacturing, but that's expected when it's coming from overseas. But look how amazing this booty is. The other one obviously comes wrapped up as well <gasps> these are so nice this gives me like 70s go-go dancer i did get these in a size eight usually i am a seven seven and a half but the reviews did say to size up which i did and they fit amazing so i paired the boots with a simple lbd and an oversized leather jacket how cute how stinking cute give you a little pop to show you the heel i'm obsessed they are making a little bit of noise but i have to break them in like they're squeaking a little bit against my hardwood but i think it's just because they're so new at the bottom i'm obsessed maybe with like a little bit of like a rouged white sock to add like another layer on my ankle obviously i could wear this with jeans too but this is just a good look. I was having a hard time pairing a top layer with this dress. And I love this so much. Um, I could possibly even do black jeans and a white top um, to go with the boots. But I'm obsessed. Like, I'm feeling myself. I feel hot. Like, the boots remind me of like a Bratz boot. You know, like the Bratz doll? That's what I have to go and find ins before like these shoes under like a Bratz Y2K um, style. Next item I got actually came in this box that was ripped apart by shipping. Um, the next shoe that I got is actually a sneaker. I have been wanting some chunky sneakers that are gonna go with um, some of my joggers this fall season. I got these in a size 39, which is also a size 8. So I guess I was feeling a size 8. I was just so insecure about what size I should get, and I did go ahead and size up. Size 8 is usually my go-to when I don't know what size I would be in Shein shoes. And I wish I kind of would have gotten one size up 
maybe even like a size nine. My toe is literally right at the edge and I feel just a little bit uncomfortable, but I feel like they might stretch out as I wear them. So I'm just gonna keep them and hope that they will stretch out and that a size eight will do. But if you're like me, a 30, maybe a 40, a 40 would have been good. Yeah, I maybe should have got a 40, so. So I am going to wear the shoes with this outfit and it's basically a long flannel from Shein. I will link it down below. It's like a cardigan flannel. So nice. I got it in a size extra large and I could have done a large. It's actually a lot longer than I anticipated, but it's still so cute. This outfit is like, okay, let's go. I'm ready. I have my hair done, my makeup, and I don't need anything else. These shoes are adorable. Like, look at, they are so nice. They are a little tight up in front, so I would say to go ahead and size up. But other than that, they're like the perfect athleisure shoe. So this outfit is totally complete with the sneakers. They are so nice, so lightweight. Even though they look like a chunky sneaker, they definitely do not feel like a chunky sneaker at all. I'm obsessed. Do you guys like it? I love, 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 love it. So you can't go into the fall season without a cute black booty. And I've got tons of black booties, guys. I don't need any more, but I'm actually going to give away the other black booties I have and start new with some new ones. So I'm going to unwrap these and show you what they look like. These are the perfect black booty you need this fall season. I went ahead and got a square toe this time instead of a pointed toe, which has been really popular this year. Um, I feel like this kind of looks like, like a camel's foot, right? Like this gives you like camel toe vibes. I got these in a size 40, so I got them in a size nine, right? That's a size nine, yeah. I got them in a size nine and the reviews say to size up so i did just that and i think the 40 was like the only thing that was left so i was like why not let's go ahead and give it a go um i'm really glad that i got a size nine because they are like pleather material so it works out really well sometimes when they're structured ankles it bunches up right up front and it doesn't give you that smooth look that I often go for. So these are so nice for this fall season. So affordable too. So I am going to add these to my rotation. Okay, whoa. So the dress obviously is an iron, but look at the boots. How adorable. Okay, so they don't bunch up like they usually do for my ankles at the bottom. I have really bad luck with that but these don't do that like i said they're not structured at the ankle so they go with the flow um i am obsessed with the way this look if i had anywhere to go right now this is probably what i would keep on um i'm gonna try to link this dress maybe it's still on their website because it is such a cute little number um like i said i do have to iron it but the boots really finish off the look so cute I saved the best for last and I'm so excited to show you. These were a little bit more pricier, but if you compare them to the originals, I would rather pay this price compared to the Steve Madden. These are a dupe. I got myself a pair of white Chelsea boots. Look how adorable. So I did get these in a size 39. I was worried that my calf or like this ankle part that goes into my calf because I'm sure it starts a lot sooner, wasn't going to fit and they fit amazing. The stretch up here is really good and it's like almost feels like authentic leather. Um, it's faux leather, of course. It doesn't have a funky smell and the sole is so nice. It's not a, like it doesn't feel like it's going to break. Um, this is the ultimate pair of boots for this fall season. Let me go ahead and show you the other side because I want to put them next to each other so you can see. Moment of silence for her. These are adorable, are they not? Definitely look like I'm ready for the snow, which is what we're expected to get in Texas again. So I'm getting prepared, but these are so cute, so awesome. I love them so much. Just to show you that basics are totally essential in your wardrobe, I switched up the like overlay top, kept the basics, and then 
kept the boots. And now it gives me a totally different look. More relaxed, more non-cold weather, but fall weather. I love it. So I'm still keeping the white boots on, just adding a little bit more color. I love it. I also got this from Marshalls. It was $20. A little pricey for me, but I decided to go ahead and get it because I was like, I love the way it fits and looks. So we're going to keep it on. The shoes are a go. I love this outfit. If you have not purchased shoes from Shein before, I definitely recommend you give them a try. I would say to start off with one pair of shoes first, see how you like it, see the size, and then continue to slowly add more. I am a shoe addict, so Shein gives me affordable shoes at a really great price, especially when I'm looking for dupes. So you don't want to miss out on Shein's shoe collection. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Very short, very easy. Um, I will be back with a clothing haul really soon. Bye guys!